I'm really sorry that we haven't done a video in a long time. Longest time we've gone without doing a video, probably. I keep telling myself there's reasons for it. Some of them you can see. This garage is all one color now. It's textured, painted. Looks like a doctor's office. Not that I endorse doctors. Some of the reasons you can't see, like what goes on in my head, decision-making process, like we really should be putting on baseboards today, not making a video. There's work to be done. But I'm not getting any younger either, so my current outlook is let's do something that we enjoy. So today we're going to work on the KX100, just like I promised at the end of the previous video. You did promise, you just didn't say when. Camera girl's here too. I didn't plan on it to be the better part of a year. Today we're going to uncover the KX100, get reacquainted with it, see what the next step is for this project. Except for moving this about the garage so that sheetrock mud wouldn't splatter on it. I haven't touched this since I covered it up after the last video. How about we get it front and center now? Okay. I can still do this. He's got a bad shoulder now. I was taping the ceiling here. Hurt my shoulder. The worst injury is an injury doing something that you don't like. It's one thing to end a motorcycle and break your neck and die. That's a fine way to die. But to fall off of a ladder when you're working and you don't even want to be doing that work. He's been doing this for about 10 minutes. He can't remember what to do. I think the last thing we did was make this battery box. Doesn't really matter though. No. I see a lot of loose wires here, so I think we should work on the electrical. That sounds good. And then just finish it for me so yeah. I can write it. Finish it right up. Yeah. I need this box. My plan, which could possibly change at any time, is to start with the generator because that's where the electricity comes from and work my way up from there permanently connecting electrical stuff. What's in the box? Things that I've purchased over the past couple years for this motorcycle. We're going to use some of it today. Specifically, this stuff. It's been a while since I bought this, 2019, but I think this is wire connectors and wire connector tool to put some of this stuff together without using wire nuts. Fancy. We're in the big leagues now. Got to keep it professional. No wire nuts. Hopefully it's the right thing. I was we're, thinking that too. We're past the return window. Wire connectors. And... I almost want it to be wrong so that it would be more exciting. and crimping tool. Don't you have one of those? I had one of these, I think, but I threw it away because I thought I'd never use it. <laughs> no. Easy come, easy go. Seems to work. Now, let's put it to work. I'll begin with connecting the yellow wires from the alternator to the yellow wires of the, what is that thing called? Rectifier? Yeah. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Nice. Thanks. I'll cut the wires so they meet up with each other here behind the gas tank, strip the ends off, and put them together with my new connectors. These are called 3.9 millimeter bullet connectors. So I need two of those. Two of those, two of those, and two of those. I think, I've never used these before, but I've seen lots of them. 
So the way the wire fastens onto this terminal is it's crimped in two places. Right here in the middle, it makes the electrical connection and on the end, it clamps down on the insulated portion of the wire to keep it from pulling out. But there's a problem with my new crimping tool. It's too wide. If I try to crimp in the middle, it also smushes down on this other end. So I had to modify the tool a little bit. Ground it down. I'm such an expert with this, not using it ever before in my life. I thought I'd make it better. The terminal is loaded into the crimper. Let's see if I can make this work. I'm doing the bare wire part first. It made noise. Let's see how it looks. Pretty good for a first time. I'll do the other section now that clamps down on the insulated part of the wire. I think it's my first time. I don't remember doing this before, but I have a hard time trusting my memory. I feel like it's highly evaporative. At least that's what I recall. And that is a self-referencing spiral of confusion, otherwise known as life. Well, here is the finished connector. I like the way this part turned out. The back end's kind of mangled up. Are you gonna redo it? Nobody will see it. Okay, on to the next one. Seems like I should put the opposite terminal, the female connector, on this one. Even though it wouldn't matter if they got mixed up, it just seems like I should do it that way. Looking at this now, after it's already done and I'm editing the video, it might have been a better idea to use female terminals on both alternator wires. Ooh, 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 yes, yes. What? Baby. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I felt compelled to share this. I know it. The insulator on those terminals covers up the conductor even when the wires are unplugged. Ooh, we can't have so, that. So there's... You're teasing me. Me? It's the same reason as why electrical outlets in your house don't have metal prongs sticking out of them. Oh, no outies. Only innies. Can you imagine if plugs were like that? <laughs> don't get too close to the wall, especially if you're wet and naked. <laughs> this terminal came out a lot better than the first one. I watched as I was crimping, so I didn't tighten this end down too much. See how nice that one looks compared to the first one? Just flat at the bottom. Very nice. This is the type of thing that enriches my life. There. There. <laughs> All right. Two more connections and the AC side of our electrical system will be done. I need to remember this is not just a fixture in our garage. It could be a motorcycle someday. It could. If you keep plugging away at it, I might be able to ride this before I turn 50. Maybe you're 49 and a half, and it's not going to be that long. <laughs> the terminals are crimped onto the wires. We'll plug them in. It's taken a while to get to this point because I didn't know what I was doing with these connectors when we started, and I wanted to show you how they work. But things should speed up from here. Do you start to know what you're doing? We'll see. Quality right there. We have AC power coming up from the alternator through the rectifier and out these wires as DC voltage. And they will charge the battery. The battery uses a 3 16 spade connector. You might say it's fixed. That silence means I'm either alone or I'm just not funny. <laughs> I'll use a couple of these. They're not as good as the bullet connectors because they squeeze the wire once in the middle instead of crimping it in two places. They're car audio grade. You know what we can do? Install stereo? Heat shrink will make this look better without adding any utility. So there's the finished positive wire. Now I'll do the negative. I'm removing a section of insulation from the middle of this wire. Careful, you're not wearing your safety glasses. <laughs> this one is a little more complicated because instead of just directly connecting the rectifier to the battery, 
I also need to have another wire going to the front of the motorcycle, which I'll explain later. So I'll solder a long wire to a short wire and add the connectors I need to make that happen. I'll see how it all goes together. Yeah. If it all goes together. Negative battery. Positive battery. Should have probably put a fuse in here somewhere. Too late. Maybe I'll refuse. I'm confused. All right, that part's done. AC power coming in. DC power going out to the battery. I don't think I forgot anything. Good job. Should we take a break from the tediousness and see if it starts? Do you want to clean the carburetor first? No, let's just kick it a few times. Okay. If it starts, it starts. Congratulations. If not, we've got another job in the future. Okay. This is mainly just so I can hear a sound that I really enjoy. It might help my mood. I did forget something. Oh. I think. Yeah. What? I needed two wires coming off of this, but it, let's see if it starts. We'll see if it starts, and then I'll come back to you with what I changed. I'm not gonna videotape it all. I needed another negative wire coming off of here to go to the DC step up converter. I explained all this in previous videos. You should have explained it to yourself. Yeah. You think it'll go? I don't think it'll go. But... It'll go. That depresses me. Oh well, let's get back on track. I'll reconfigure it this, show you how it looks. Okay, I got it figured out. I switched the onesie that I had installed onto the wire I made for a twosie. So now the rectifier, the 12 volt converter, and the green wire can all connect to the negative terminal of the battery. That was a good idea. You're pretty smart. Thank you. So we'll plug everything in now. Shame it doesn't run. It was one of the worst days of my life, I think, when you took this motorcycle apart. <laughs> I still remember how upset I was. Still remember. I'm sorry. And now it doesn't run. Now it doesn't run. And I have my license. I held up my end of the bargain. You did. This is how the electrical system looks so far. Just in case I didn't explain it very well, and if you care. Now I'll focus on this wire. Six volts, positive, switched. It automatically turns on whenever the engine is running and turns off when the engine stops because this rectifier is fancy. <laughs> I like this setup because it's simple. I won't need to have an ignition switch, but that also means the motorcycle won't be secure when we park it. Like every decision in life, there's never a perfect choice that's only beneficial and doesn't have any drawbacks. There's always compromise, sacrifice. Unless it comes to the government putting a needle in your arm. Let's get back on track. That's different. So this wire will connect to the 12 volt converter giving us 12 volts switched power down here and just like I did on the negative side, we'll run another wire up here giving us six volts switched power. The reason I'm doing this is so I can run a six volt horn. Originally I was going to use a 12 volt horn, but the maximum power output of this DC converter is only three amps. So do we have enough volts and amps? Uh, that's a hard question. I haven't figured out what the total electrical draw of this system is. Might be something I should look into, but whatever it is, if I can eliminate 1.5 of those amps, that's a good thing, right? Right. So I'll make this little section of wire. My gut feeling is with the six volt horn, the power output and the power requirements of the system should be well matched. I think it'll work. 
You don't know? No. I can barely stay up on a motorcycle. You think it'd be harder if it was catching on fire underneath I, you? I, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should put a fuse somewhere. Okay, I got that little piece of wiring done. We have power going in, power coming out, and the horn leg. Chose purple for that. Okay, what's next? I don't know. It's a new day, by the way. Clean shirt. That's a nice shirt. Yesterday, we stopped filming early because we had another project to work on. Not baseboards. Might have rather done baseboards. What we've got going on here is a house that needed new carpet. So we took up the carpet and took up the pad, but underneath there are many stains where people spilled something or an animal spilled something. I think mostly animals spilled something here. Animals leaked there. Animals leaked here. And what has happened is it soaked all the way through and glued some of the padding to the subfloor. So we're going around with a scraper and we're working to get that up. Sometimes it's difficult, like right here. I scrape, I scrape, I scrape, and the fuzziness is still there. Sideways action. Really a pain to get that up, but then sometimes it's easy. Well, you'll have to take my word for it. When it's easy, I feel really lucky. I feel like that's a great day. <laughs> and after we've done our scraping, then we vacuum, like we've already done over here in the living room. You can still see the stains, but they're smooth. And after the vacuuming, camera girl will go over it a couple times with a mop. And I don't know about you, camera girl, but I think that's a glamorous lifestyle. Oh yeah. Living the dream. Yeah. I really, really wish the weathered plywood floor would come in style. But it's stayed, it's stayed too. That's right, we have a beautiful stained wood floor. So I'll film you for a couple moments and then I'll start scraping. Maybe. Go! I'm looking for some mop stuff, baby, this evening. Give me some mop stuff, baby, tonight. <laughs> Working at the floor wash. Oh, 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 at the floor wash, yeah. Mop, yeah, mop. Those stains won't come up on their own. Mop, mop. This place soon gonna be our home. Mop, mop. Till you can't feel your toes. Mop, mop. Time, My, it's time to go home. Oh, won't you mop me up? Woo! Mop me up and never stop, never stop. You got me running mop. You got me running mop, I'll blow my mop. You make a grown man mop. You make a grown man mop. Ah, uh, let's go to the mop. No. No, no, that one didn't work. Good job. I figured out the next part of our adventure. It's going to center around the 12 volt output from this DC converter. These two wires are going to power the headlight, the speedometer, the turn signals, the brake light, and the tail light. That's a lot of wires, but shouldn't be too bad. I'll make the individual sections of wiring I need, and then one by one, put them on the motorcycle. It'd be a lot more exciting if you put them all on at the same time. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. It would have worked in camera girl land. It's right by Candyland. Where do I buy a ticket? <laughs> I've had it with this place. 
I'm almost done making the different sections of wiring. The only one left to do is the 12 volt negative and we'll use black wire for that. It's important to use a separate color for each unique branch of the electrical system. Keeping this well organized prevents confusion. <laughs> this was your idea. <laughs> Orange, for example, only carries 12 volts positive constant. This is one of two main power wires on the motorcycle. The other is the 12 volt negative wire, which we're going to create now. As I make it, I'll talk to you about a few things I learned when I was doing those others. We'll start off by putting it right here. There's some things in back that need 12 volt negative, like the turn signals, the tail light, and the brake light. So we'll leave plenty of wire back here. Then we'll run it up front. Here, it will catch the front turn signals the headlight and the speedometer. We'll make sure to cut it long. We can always make it shorter later. What did you do with my cutters? I, I don't use those. Did you put them in candy? Did you put them in cam girl land? I almost said candy girl land. Candy girl. Here's some. Next thing to do is come over here and figure out how many wires need that 12 volt negative service and where they should go. I'll call this one the tail light and brake light. That's only one terminal right here. I'll make a connection for the turn signals about right here. And I also need to bring a wire over to the 12 volt converter right here. Looks like as good a place as any. We'll make these connections now. Is that supposed to be taped down? You did a terrible job. No. It's not down at all. I'm not trying to tape it down. The pieces of tape are markers for where I need to put the wires. Weren't you paying attention? Probably not. Try to stay awake. Set a good example for the people watching. Did you talk about that? I'm pretty sure you're editing this in after the fact. Go back and watch it. You were right there. I'm connecting these wires differently from the ones I showed earlier in the video. Instead of putting solder on both wires and then melting them together, I'm twisting the wires together beforehand and then filling up the joint with solder. This is better for two reasons. I think it's a stronger connection and it's easier because the wires stay together when I'm soldering. So this is all done except for the heat shrink. Do you want to do the heat shrink? Is that all of this project you trust me with? The heat shrink? I think it's enjoyable. I think it's fun. It is fun. Run well, the heat gun. Then why are you complaining about it? Well, it's not a very big part. I'll do it. I'll do it myself. Maybe I don't trust you with the heat shrink. Now ah! that you mention it. <gasps> you just want to shrink the tube. It's enjoyable watching it clamp around there. Last chance. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you think you know how? Oh my goodness. Yes. Just watch me miss this up. Even heat. Put it on high. I guess I don't know how. Let's see if I can get the camera in focus. So far, I think you're doing better than me. Well, you just about missed it. Did you already get one done? Well, almost. Ah! You're just moving too fast. <laughs> I can't be doing it that fast. I've only no, done it, this like once I, before. When I look with my eyes, it's good. You're doing a good job. I just have a camera that thinks the concrete behind you is a much better subject to focus on than the wire. Check your work here. Very nice. Excellent work. Thank you. You're gonna laugh when you see what I filmed. You can have the camera back and I'll see how the wire fits. This looks like it'll work. I have my 12 volt converter wire, brake light, tail light, and two turn signals. Now I need to add some wires in front. I need four total, which means I will add three this is almost going to be the same procedure as we did in back, so I won't film it. That's good because you can't focus the camera. 
You can't keep track of what I'm doing, and I can't film what I'm doing. <laughs> what a team. I got my wires added onto here, and I like the way it turned out. It's important that the wiring in this area of the motorcycle is flexible enough that it can move along with the steering. Solder joints are not flexible, they're rigid, so I made this connection down here away from any movement. But I didn't realize that until after I had made a few of these assemblies. The 12 volt positive wire is laid out really similar to this one, but when I did it earlier, I just thought, I need to make some connections up front, so that's where I'll put all the wires. You can see what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, that's got to be the worst thing you've ever done. Well, I hope that's a joke. <laughs> if that's the worst thing you've ever done, you're doing pretty good. Oh, I see. Like, you'll survive, sweetheart. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks. I made some changes to that wire so there's not a big lump of solder right where it needs to bend. I'm learning as I go. This is the second time I've created a wiring system for a motorcycle. What? <laughs> I kind of like these things. I'm talking about that! Now I'm talking about this! Yeah! Faster, dude! They're getting away! And I need to get home in time for my whiskey! Yeah! Oh boy. I didn't catch him. Turns out I was riding a mule. And I was sitting on him backwards. <laughs> I've got all the individual legs of the wire harness finished. Now I just need to merge them onto the motorcycle. This is what we have right now, just the two six volt wires. And here's what it looks like with the orange 12 volt constant wire. It's only taped on there though, I haven't connected anything electrically, but I made an updated diagram that shows how I plan to hook it up. Camera Girl thought we should have done something more exciting than wire fabrication after such a long absence. I'm working on the 12 volt negative now. <laughs> but this is where we are in the project. Even though it's boring, I think it's important to show. <laughs> It's very exciting. 12 volt negative wire. Taped. Taped. <laughs> <laughs> what you get to tape next? <laughs> Your mouth <Merle> shut. <laughs> ah! <laughs> One after another today. While the diagram is on the screen, I'll add the rest of the wires. <laughs> You okay? That's, that's what you've been working on? I don't really know if this is even helpful, but I like the bright colors. It's helpful for me. I had no idea you were doing all that. Here's how it looks in real life. All the wires tucked up onto the motorcycle. One other thing too. The exhaust is coming out of your bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it kind of runs. And thank you for letting me know. I feel fine, though. <laughs> it didn't start earlier because it was out of gas. Once I put some in there, it started right up, but it's not perfect. So I might need to clean the carburetor, or it could sort itself out. Hope springs eternal on that one. It took me longer than I expected to bundle these wires together. We were busy with other things, including changing garages. This might be a better place to do videos, but I'll talk about that later. The main backbone of this wiring is finished. There's still a lot of work to be done. We need to tie everything into it, but it feels like progress. And so is this. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching.